Let's go over a quick core and abs workout. First, let's look at the three major abs groups. The rectus abdominis on the left is the first group we're going to talk about. This is the muscle group that flexes the spine. I call it the vanity muscle group because for years people have been doing crunches, flexing their spines, looking to get six pack abs. A matter of fact, the crunch was so popular, there was a gym franchise named Crunch Fitness. Now, if you look where the arrow's pointing, it's pointing to that surface superficial layer of muscle. It's got some tendons. That's what gives a six pack appearance. Now, the truth of the matter is, there's rock stars that have been on death row that weren't healthy at all that had six pack abs because basically they were starving drug addicts that had no abdominal fat blocking that a layer of muscle. Uh, the next muscle group is the transverse abdominis. This is the most important one to exercise. If you're doing compound movements like squats and deadlifts, you're using the transverse abdominis. This is helping keep your spine tight. It helps you transfer power from your lower body to your upper body. And when you take people off the street, this is always the weakest muscle group of the abs. People having a hard time uh, transferring power from their lower body. If they can't jump six inches off the ground, if they're rounding their back when they're doing deadlifts or squats, they have a weak transverse abdominis. Next group is the obliques. They lie under the love handles and they're a superficial uh, muscle, especially the, the external obliques. There's two sets of obliques, but they're both, both involved in twisting and side to side movement and lowering yourself to one side to pick up something like a suitcase or a bowling ball. You got to contract your oblique. So just like the rectus abdominis, it lies under a layer of fat. If you want those muscles to show, get the fat down, but you definitely want those muscles to be functional. So let's go over a quick workout. First exercise we're doing here is the plank. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds plus, working on that transverse abdominis, drawing the belly to the spine, creating a relationship between your belly and your spine. Next one I'm doing is the side plank, working that bottom oblique there. It's contracting, trying to hold myself up I'm going to do both sides. Now, of course, if you're doing a good workout with compound movements, you're, you're working out these body parts, but this is a little extra and I'm working up a little sweat. And sometimes you find uh, parts of your midsection are weak in certain positions. This is a flutter kick and this hurts like heck by the time you get to 30 seconds. Working a transverse abdominis again here. Uh, this maneuver, maneuver is a little bit of a yoga move. I've seen some strong fit people fall apart doing this. They don't have the patience for it. You just got to keep the balance. I should keep that back leg a little straighter, but it's good core work. Keep your balance. A little like surfing, got to keep your core tight. Now moving side to side here, working the obliques. This is called the wiper. At this point, you start working up a sweat. The main thing here is don't uh, put a lot of rest between these ab maneuvers. Just keep your heart rate up, especially after a little cardio or before a little cardio, after your workout, even on your own, outside doing nothing. Good time to do it. Next one I'm going to do is a, a maneuver that I stole from a human flagpole tutorial. Got my lower legs together, just contracting that oblique. Once again, hit both sides. I did a little extra oblique work here in this workout. Last one for the rectus abdominis, the old vanity muscle, doing some uh, mount rope climbers, boxers, whatever you want to call them. You can do any kind of crunch move there. Uh, you can put together your own workout, just hit all those major muscle groups. You can copy mine if you want. Check you later.